Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about tribology in biological systems. In the previous videos, we understood the various topics in biotribology, that is joint tribology, skin tribology, oral tribology. Today, let us understand about tribology of other human bodies and also in plant. Tribology in Cardiovascular System Tribological problems in the cardiovascular system mainly involve artificial heart valves, intravascular stents as, as well as capillary blood flow. In the human circulatory system, red blood cells must undergo large deformation while passing through capillaries with diameters in the ranges from 4 to 8 micrometer. Understanding of tribological behavior, particularly flow properties of capillary blood flow is important for both protecting red blood cells from damage during microcirculation and providing clinical guidance. A number of investigations have been carried out including experimental simulations in vitro and corresponding theoretical analysis on the behavior of the blood flood in microvessels and red blood cells motion in capillary tubes. Here we can see the tribology in blood flow where we can see the radius, the blood flow, the blood viscosity and the shear stress considerations in understanding the fluid properties of the blood. Tribology in hair Everybody hopes to have a smooth and soft hair, similar to skin. Grooming and maintenance for beautiful hair is a daily process for the most of people, while friction and adhesion are the most relevant parameters to hair care. Coefficient of friction is useful as it serves as a quantitative marker for human perception of feel, and current investigations focus on correlations between friction properties in micro and micro scale and air structure under various experimental conditions. Here in this figure, we can see the tribology in different applications of biology. Tribology in eye The eye is a typical example of lubricated moving system in the human body. The tear film provides protection to the cornea and maintains optical smoothness for vision. Ocular tribology has attracted much attention particularly since the introduction of contact lenses. There are two major tribological interactions in the eye. One interface occurs between eyelid and corneal in the natural eye, while for the case of the contact lens, two interfaces are formed between the contact lens, eyelid and cornea. Major tribological issues have focused on properties of the tear film and its lubrication mechanism, adhesion and friction of the various contact lenses, adhesive comfort in order to develop the satisfied contact lenses. Here we can see the figure of the lubricating drop for a high. Tribology in leaf Compared to human or animal tribology, progress in plant tribology seems to be slow, probably due to less attention or lack of knowledge on the relevant properties of plants. However, as one of the more than 200 water repellent plant species, the lotus leaf owing to its super hydrophobicity, also known as the lotus effect, has been mainly investigated. It is demonstrated that epidermal cells of the lotus leaves from papillae, which are superimposed by a very dense layer of the epicuticular waxes. Epicuticular waxes have hydrophobic properties which together with micro and nanostructure roughness result in reduced contact area between water droplets and the leaf surface. Here we can see the tribological study in lotus leaf. In this video, we understood the tribology and cardiovascular system, tribology in hair and tribology in human eye and also tribology in leaf. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.